Well, good morning, everyone. Good evening, good night, good day, wherever you are. And uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm John Dupuy, CEO of Iowa Technologies, and we have here in screens some of our brothers and sisters from uh, the Iowa team. So thank you, everybody. For being here, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna meditate to a track to of Schumann holophonics half hour um, tape, and it, it takes us in the brainwave states right between kind of the, the borderline between alpha and theta, and that is also according to Schumann uh, one of the profound frequencies that the Earth uh, uh, resonates with. So we're connecting with each other. We're connecting uh, with with the earth, mother earth, and uh, uh, which we came out of. Uh, and another team member just showed up. Good morning, Doug. Great to see you. So we're going to, uh, you know, we're meditating in a time now of great global disruption and fear and the pandemic, you know, that you hear all about. And a lot of us, our lives have changed drastically. Uh, they've closed our schools, they've closed our churches, they've closed our gyms, they've closed our just about everything but grocery stores, as far as I can see, and hospitals. So um, uh, this is, I, I, think, I think our meditation, uh, I'll just suggest a, um, um, uh, a theme that you can just hold as your mind begins to you know, go through all its stuff and begins to settle down. And and uh, our experience thus far with this project, the We Awake project, has shown us that meditating together, there's a feel we can really bounce off of each other and or something we we we're connecting, and it just feels a little stronger. It's just there's something uh, different when we're meditating together, and it's a very positive, uh, strong feel that's created. So I just want everyone to ask the medicine question. Question, and I use medicine in the term, the Native American term, is something healing. Is is your life on purpose? Okay, are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? And that is just extremely important to make sure uh, that we, if we are, we can reconfirm that. You know, and the guy upstairs can go, way to go, or that mystery, however you want to uh, encounter that. So let's um, let's begin our slower minds and unite our hearts. And the question is, you know, great mystery creator, God, is, is my life on purpose? Am I walking the path that I should be walking? And if not, please show me how I can do a better job. And if so, show me how I can do a better job. Okay. So thank you for being here. And um, I'm going to get the signal to, uh, to start this meditation, talk the sonic part. And let's just wait for that.
welcome everyone. And um, this is turning into my favorite time of the week. We get together with uh, my peeps and uh, we meditate together. So that's awesome. And all of you that are out there, hope you can feel the, uh, the presence when we do this together. And um, yeah, say a little bit about just my, my spiritual uh, understanding of this and, and everybody gets to have their own. But for me at this stage in my development my practice is that, that uh, prayer and meditation have become kind of the same process. And meditation is what prepares us or prepares me for prayer. And what do I mean by prayer? Uh, well, first of all, meditation, if you um, practice and work with this technology, and, and this will just, technology is so, it's such a blessing. I mean, it will shape years and maybe lifetimes uh, off your your uh, the time that you need to practice and, and uh, to get to the place that you want to be. It happens very quickly if we dedicate it and use it. But uh, meditation is where we still our minds and our thoughts. And sometimes, um, even if we can't still them because the mind continues to think, you get to the place where you're just witnessing your thinking. You're no longer in the middle of the thinking. So it's like, you are again identified with pure awareness, pure consciousness, pure presence that's there all the time. But we become aware of it, then the thoughts come up, and eventually uh, the, the thoughts begin to, to stop. And we're left in that just pure, blessed uh, stillness. And that's when prayer kicks in. And again, when I'm talking about prayer, I'm not necessarily talking about, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz type of prayer, but contemplative prayer. And what does that mean? Well, that, in my understanding, it means simply uh, practicing in the presence, uh, the, this mysterious president, presence, not president, uh, that we call, we call Allah, we call God, we call whatever we call it it's it's uh it's that um that place inside of us and and i think uh there was a great revolution in human history and consciousness during happened maybe starting uh three thousand years ago back there and and it's kind of the earliest uh records we have are maybe the vedic sages in india but you know we have the abrahamic uh, uh Judaism, Christianity, Islam, the Taoism, Lao Tzu from from uh, from China, and all these different places. And, and I'm sorry if I'm leaving out anything important. Uh, but then we were coming out of civilization. I think you had before that you have the shamanic um, path, which is still rocking, still going, and it's being rediscovered. But largely in civilization, what you had was um, a, a very established hierarchy where you had the, the pharaoh on top or the god king or queen on top, and they were uh, gods themselves or directly in contact with uh, the realm of the gods, and everybody else was supposed to serve them, and that's the way it was. Well, with the axial revolution, when the great spiritual traditions started emerging uh, in our human family, things really shifted, and, and it was like, oh, you don't have to go through the uh, through the Pharaoh or the God King and this and that, you can have a, a direct relationship if you uh, if you keep the commandments, if you follow the path, if you do uh, what what the enlightened teacher, the Buddha, the Christ, uh, the prophet, whoever that was, came to teach us. And uh, it was very uh, well in Christianity, which I'm probably more familiar with, a pretty freewheeling. In the time of Jesus, she said, behold, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's right here. Behold, the kingdom of heaven is within you. And yeah, I'm a son of God. And people get angry when I say that. But I'm saying you're all sons of God. You're all children of God. You're all daughters of God. So figure that out. And uh, that was a huge revolution. Whatever happened back there just resonated out. And then pretty soon, as, uh, as we tend to do, uh, as humans, we started building structures around it. And pretty soon, we got back to... Uh, the Pharaoh and, and guys of the Pope and a hierarchy and all this. And uh, uh, 
not that you can't find an individual relationship with spirit in that kind of thing, but I think it gets in the way a lot. And then we had the the uh, the, the Reformation, where they said, "Oh, we can we can read the Scripture now. We can read the words of God ourselves, and we don't need all this hierarchy and popes and priests and this and that and the other telling us what to do. We can we can we can." work with the scripture we can work with god we can work with our conscience we can and and that's how the uh, uh how that thing got rolling and it uh, gives a whole new uh, hit on christianity well i I, w- I was um thinking that perhaps um i awake in this new technology this transformational spiritual technology we have is now it's just a continuation of our evolution uh, as a species towards um what Jesus and and these early uh, enlightened beings were trying to tell us that we can all have this relationship and we can all uh, get there. And and I think uh, prior to this, uh, traditional meditation is it's just really hard for most of us to sit there and kind of watch our minds and go through all this stuff. And most of us, and I did this for years, I knew meditation was important, but I couldn't stay with it because it just was a torment. It was it's hard for me to do, and it, it I wasn't seeing results uh, quick enough, and and I needed I needed uh, I needed relief from my suffering uh, right away. So I discovered this technology, and one thing led to the other. And so uh, one of the you know the the there's many wonderful things about about this meditation and technology, and you, you get smarter, you get more creative, you can do actually clear thinking. You know, there's a part uh, of this meditation where you just where you're thinking deep thoughts, and it's a, it's a revelation. Uh, as in when Einstein figured out relativity, he saw a vision of it in his mind, and then later on he went and did the math and figured it out. Well, that that's well and good and that's a part of of this it's not the monkey mind with just the you know the stuff but it's maybe the wise monkey speaking or the sage inside so there's that part too but then there's a part when we still down and we're just simply in that um open space uh and and we become that that stillness that consciousness that presence and it becomes us and that's that's a place of deep um, deep peace and uh, uh, can be even ecstatic and it, it is extremely uh, life affirming and uh, it seems to open us up to the whole universe and all of us and all things that prior to us and all things present and the generations to come all of that stuff we are it at that moment and um, and it's not just a dry empty uh, ness. It's an absolute uh, fullness, if you will. And uh, uh, yeah, we can get there in, in, in our meditations. And with this this uh, particular technology, uh, it's deeply democratizing of the spiritual path. And we all get to become mystics. We all get to get become uh, people that experience it. Not because so-and-so said it or because it's in John chapter whatever. It's because here we are in the present right now. And uh, that is a place where uh, true uh, prayer or uh, experience of presence and becoming presence really happens. And that's extraordinary. And uh, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, felt it this morning. But there, there is a power in in uh, in coming together and meditating together. And there's always been uh, in all the spiritual traditions. There's always the, the idea that a community uh, can can support of like-minded seekers can can uh, uh, something very necessary. There's also the necessity of being alone and and uh, going off to the cave or going to the mountains or going on the vision quest and uh, uh, but doing it together. So uh, our our individual um, uh, practice and presence becomes something even more experientially more when we do this together. And right now, historically, of course, we're going through this uh, this pandemic, the the virus, and, and most of our countries are are shut down and uh, it could be pretty lonely 
but we do have this incredible uh, new technology for good or for ill. We have the internet that brings us, we can all be here together at the same time. And we've discovered that, um, that spiritual practice and presence seems to be non-local. In other words, we're different time zones, different parts of the planet, and we come together, and it's just immediately something is created that has nothing to do with time. It's just right now, right here. So um, it's good to come together, and good to come together at a time like this, when there's a time of real uncertainty and disruption and fear and uh, meant so many things going on with, with, with our planet and with politics and all stuff and, and and our impact upon the planet and, and each other. So it's good to come together and it's good to, to feel this, this love and this peace and, and this, this, this uh, knowing we're not in this alone. So I, I just want to thank you for all being here and uh, we're going to be doing this as, as long as um, well, as we feel guided to do it. So thank you uh, for your practice. And the last thing about practice, uh, right now, if your job has been disrupted and you don't have time, it's a wonderful time to initiate a practice. And what I, I was thinking about practice, you have to find the level of practice that works for you. You know, my recommendation is that, that I think the, 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 uh, uh, where things really get rolling and, and this is based primarily on my experience and working with others about an hour. If you do an hour of this, I awake, uh, enhanced meditation things will really begin to move and and shift and release and uh, all that stuff will begin to happen uh, more rapidly and in a more steady basis however you might feel called as i am right now to meditate for a longer period of time so for me the the one hour is just a starting point and i've noticed uh you know and i've kind of just given myself permission the first half hour or so i just uh you know, thank or do whatever, except when I'm meditating with you guys and you draw me into this deep place immediately. Thank you. Um, but, but after that hour, mm, you really get into the deep, deep part of the ocean and some, uh, and all the mystery and all the glory and the beauty that, that we find in that. So, um, um, yeah, be your own guru, you know, find out what you need to do and how long you need to practice and how often you need to practice. And, uh, that way you'll be taking totally respons total responsibility for your own waking up and your own healing and your own purpose. And uh, uh, so, so um, work with that this week, you know, and, and don't look for the outside authority, but say, you know, how long should I do this? And, and uh, listen to that and see where that takes you. And I think it will take you to a really good place and a really life uh, healing and transforming place. And uh, we need the best versions of ourselves to show up always but especially in times of, of extra stress and extra fear and extra disruption. Um, and, and they say that stress is the a mother of evolution. So maybe this is a time to, that will really push us into a, into a new level individually. And if we start coming together and doing this uh, collectively, so that's my prayer. That's my hope. Anyway, uh, love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll be here next time. God willing. Oh.